She is the youngest UN senior official and tasked with delivering one of the boldest mandates to mobilize a generation of 1.8 billion young people. In this digest, Jayatma Vikramanayaka, the UN Secretary General's youth envoy, shares her vision and why you should care. Greetings, my name is Jatma Vikramanayake and I am the United Nations Secretary General's Envoy on Youth. I work to bring the United Nations closer to young people and young people closer to the United Nations. The biggest tool I have to do this is Youth 2030, the UN's system-wide youth strategy. My office, together with other UN agencies, funds and programs and UN country offices and young people themselves are co-leading in bringing this strategy to life. Our common vision is a world in which the human rights of every young person are realized, a world that ensures every young person is empowered to achieve their fullest potential and a world that recognizes young people's agency, resilience, and their positive contributions as agents of change. The aim of the youth strategy is to scale up global, regional, and national actions to meet young people's needs, realize their rights, and tap into their possibilities as agents of change. This strategy is ambitious. It's guiding the UN system in stepping up support for the empowerment of young people while ensuring that the organization's work fully benefits from their insights and ideas. We have seen some significant progress over the recent years, but we still have a long way to go to ensuring better youth representation and participation across the board. Through this strategy, we have an opportunity to meaningfully integrate youth into the realization of the 2030 Agenda, weaving them not just as beneficiaries, but as key actors who are playing a critical role in contributing to a more sustainable future. Young people are always stepping up to the challenge. I have seen this in my work in conflict-affected areas, in humanitarian settings, and in the most vulnerable communities around the world. Young people take leadership in finding solutions, from protesting on the streets for climate action to acting as first responders and volunteer workers during the COVID-19 pandemic. Young people have shown that they are not only the most resilient, but also are the most resourceful in times of crisis. Although progress is being made in many places, overall action to meet the sustainable development goals is not yet advancing at the speed or scale required. 2020 needs to usher in an ambitious decade of action to deliver the SDGs by 2030. The COVID-19 pandemic and its impact on all 17 SDGs has shown that what began as a health crisis has quickly become a human and a socio-economic crisis threatening to undo important sustainable development progress. Yet, despite being disproportionately affected by COVID-19, young people are coming together to respond to the crisis by demonstrating resilience, resourcefulness and leadership. Today, the world is home to the largest generation of youth in history. With half of the world's population under 30, they represent the greatest opportunity we have for accelerating development and achieving the SDGs in the decade of action. To achieve the SDGs, we must engage a generation of young people who know about the goals, who care about the goals, and who actively works towards their realization. The world already has the knowledge and the resources to achieve the goals. Young people have the energy, the ingenuity and ambition to make these goals a reality. With just 10 years to go to achieve their stages, I'm calling on all policymakers everywhere to urgently make greater investments in youth, from education to healthcare to training to creating decent jobs building the capacities of young people and ensuring they have opportunities to achieve their potential will be critical to delivering the 2030 agenda. There is no better investment a country can make than in the capacities and potential of its young people. At the same time, I encourage young people around the world to continue to actively engage in these issues and keep holding their governments accountable. 
For 75 years, the UN has sought to unite stakeholders everywhere to tackle the world's greatest challenges. Now, more than ever, we need all stakeholders to come together to realign behind the mission of the UN and steer our world into a more equitable, more inclusive and sustainable path. Today's young people recognize this perhaps more than any other generation in history. So, let's give them an opportunity to lead. Thank you. Oh, my God.